and we're continuing to follow the deadly flooding on the ground. That's where we find LEX 18 Sean Moody, who is in Breathitt County, live here for us at 1230. Hey, Angie, fire officials here in Breathitt County expect that today is going to be a very, very busy day for them. Uh, there are still a lot of areas across the county that have no cell phone service out there. They expect when cell service is finally restored, their call volume at the dispatch center is going to explode because there are just so many people out there who likely need help, but just don't have any way to call for help. Uh, in the meantime, while they wait to figure out where those people are, they're focusing their efforts on the Lost Creek area and Highway 476 and South Jackson. The Jackson Fire Department spokesperson said there were more than 500 water rescues in Breathitt County alone yesterday. They know of two people who were reported missing in the River Caney area. No word so far and if they've been able to find those people today. They expect that number could also change substantially as they're able to get better communication. Now, today, one big area of concern is the Panbold Dam. It's here on the north side of Jackson. Highway 15 sits right on top of it and they've been limiting traffic across the dam. It held last night. The water nearly got over the top, but not quite. Now they're still keeping an eye on it today. He told me the water came up so quickly yesterday that it caught people off guard. The water crested overnight at 43.47 feet, which breaks the record they set way back in 1939. Several streets in downtown Jackson flooded and civilians began performing rescues on kayaks, getting their neighbors to safe ground. Of course, first responders have been spread really thin throughout the region, trying to get to the most dire, life threatening situation. So everybody here is just doing what they can. Again, they estimate more than 500 rescues yesterday. That is uh, an astounding number. When you think about the resources we had from Lexington, from Moorhead, local uh, crews here who were operating, but then you had so many people from the community who just brought their own boat, who brought their kayak, who, who waded through the water to get to people to check on the elderly folks that are in our community. You put all of that together with our official effort and it's pretty amazing uh, what happened yesterday. And it, it is a true picture of what people do when they care about each other. Now you're looking at a mobile mobile home park along the North Fork of the Kentucky River here along Park Road in Jackson. We were out here yesterday and the water had made it up to the homes and was surrounding but hadn't actually got in yet. You can see today that the water did get up into some of those mobile homes. It's uh, since started to recede here. We can see the water line on some of those mobile homes back there about midway up. It's starting to come back down now, but of course uh, very slowly we're going to see as that water recedes uh, what was saved out here, but also unfortunately uh, what was lost out here. And so Sadly, we know that will include a lot of people out here. We're certainly hoping for the best, and we're going to follow those details as much as we can. Live in Breathitt County, Sean Moody, LAX 18 News.